Hey guys, good afternoon. It's uh, Ken Crane and Britt London here from PLEA. We want to do a quick video update for you. It's been a while since we've done one of these. So we want to go over some topics, uh, cover some issues on rumor control. Uh, we're going to try to get back in the habit of trying to get one of these out probably once a month. So the first thing I want to talk about is uh, manpower staffing issues. Uh, obviously we're in the middle of a full-blown rebid. Uh, not a very fun process, obviously. Um, uh, it looks like the final count, the last count we were given, it's going to be roughly 150 uh, detectives and about 14 supervisors, uh, detectives and patrol specialty, and then 14 supervisors that'll be end up being moved somewhere in there. There could be some fine adjustments between now and February 20th. Uh, just so you know, and you've, if you've been watching our website, uh, we have been meeting. Uh, with the city manager, the mayor. We met with the mayor yesterday, had a very good meeting with him, and we are met with a, a city council person. We're meeting with some more, uh, going to get some more on the calendar. We're trying to lay out our concerns uh, and educate them uh, on, the, on the issues. Um, and uh, it's apparent that um, there, there are some things they aren't aware of uh, as we talk to them. But rest assured that we are going to keep the pressure on our goal is to push the city to do the right thing and get hiring where it should be. And national averages for a city with our population uh, says we should be at 2.5 officers per thousand. That equates to about 4,200 cops. So that is our goal. That's what we're going to push for. Uh, we've had a lot of rumors going around about retirement. Some of you may have heard this. We got calls from the media that uh, we, they heard upwards of 40 people had put in retirement paperwork. Uh, this is not true. We called the retirement office since the beginning of December. They've had, other than regularly scheduled drops, they've had three people walk in to submit retirement paperwork. Obviously, between now and February 20th, that number could grow, but right now it is nowhere uh, close to the rumored number of 40. I want to talk real quick about FTO and net testing processes. There's some a little bit of rumor control on that. We did have a meeting uh, pleaded with the... Uh, fourth floor staff and one of the thought processes being kicked around that we're in favor of that we would support is a citywide when the day comes a citywide testing process for net and FTO so that they could main one test one consistent test that everybody takes and one consistent list citywide list for net and FTO much the same way as they would test for SAU canine air support or any other specialty out there um, it just doesn't make sense. It, it convolutes and makes it confusing to have a different list and testing process in every precinct in the city. So if you've heard about that, that has been talked about. It remains to be seen if or when it will be implemented. And at this point, I'm going to kick it over to Britt to cover a couple of topics that he's got. Well, no shortage of rumors in the plea office. Uh, Ken already covered the, uh, the retirement rumors. Uh, we've also gotten some calls about PSB conducting these mass audits of key card times, sign-on times, uh, radio transmission times. Uh, at this point, there may be uh, a few pointed investigations where that's occurring, but it's not occurring in mass. Um, but it's good to keep that in the back of your head. Um, also, uh, the new operations order revisions were uh, put out last week, I think, for January 17. Uh, they deal with 3.2, the transfer policy, and 3.18, and uh, 3.18, addendum A, which is a discipline, discipline policy. Um, nothing earth-shattering in there, but it's always good to read uh, the operations orders and revisions. Uh, uh, keep, up, keep up with policy. And that's all I have. Back to you, Ken. Thanks, Britt. And uh, uh, on the investigation front, there's two things I want to talk about uh, real quick. These are reminders. If you're ever in PSB or SID, Special Investigations Division, where they're re requesting an interview from you, cell phone issues. If at any time you're requested or have your phone demanded of you, absent a court order, our advice is that you do not surrender that, you halt the interview process, and you immediately call plea so that we can connect you up with a plea attorney. Uh, we recently had an incident where an officer that had been involved in an incident several months ago uh, was contacted for follow-up on an investigation, and the city wanted them to surrender their cell phone so they could mirror image the phone. 
The Supreme Court has held that cell phones are personal handheld computers. They are not mere phones anymore. And uh, so tread very carefully. If you get a request like that, stop the process and call us for help. Uh, again, SID interviews. If you're contacted by a criminal investigator for any reason, the first thing you should do after you get off the phone with talking to them is call us so we can get you hooked up with one of our attorneys. We do not advise anybody going into an SID criminal interview without the aid of legal counsel. Um, so on that note, that's all I want to say about the investigations uh, side of things. Uh, wrapping up, I want to tell you, just remind you that we had our first annual police ball last October. It was a very successful event, well received, everybody loved it. We're already planning for our second one, which will be October 14th to 2017. Tickets are on sale right now through our website. And now till the end of February, you can buy individual tickets for $85. These were normally $106 a piece. After February, they will go up. If a group of 10 people want to get a table and order tickets in a block of 10, you can get tickets for $80 a piece. So that's even a little bit cheaper. Last thing I want to hit on is Plea Vice President Jerry Gannon. If you read the magazine, you know he's retiring and leaving. We will be having a retirement send-off party for him here at the plea office on January 25th, which is a Wednesday from 11 a.m. to 1300. So if you get a chance to come down or have time or want to, we'd invite you and welcome you to come on down, but call the office to RSVP so we know who's coming. And with Jerry's departure, uh, that frees up a vacancy in the office. So Tim Biardi off of our board is going to be our sixth position in the office. Tim is already in here working. Some of you may have run into him or called him on the phone, but uh, uh, we see Tim as being a, a real strong asset for the team in here. So until the next time, uh, appreciate your attention. If you have any questions, rumor control, uh, please, rather than perpetrate it, just call the office, check with us to see if you can get some up-to-date information. So until then, stay safe, and we'll catch you the next time.